Hurricane Helene swamped parts of Mexico on Wednesday as it churned on a path forecasters said would take it to Florida as a potentially catastrophic storm with a surge that could swallow entire homes, a chilling warning that sent residents scrambling for higher ground, closed schools, and led to states of emergency throughout the southeast. Helene Center was about 430 miles southwest of Tampa, Florida, the U.S. National Hurricane Center said and the hurricane was expected to intensify and accelerate as it crosses the Gulf of Mexico toward the Big Bend area of Florida's northwestern coast. Landfall was expected sometime Thursday evening, and the hurricane center said by then it could be a major category for storm with winds above 129 miles per hour. Tropical storm conditions were expected in southern Florida Wednesday night, spreading northward and encompassing the rest of Florida as well as Georgia and South Carolina through Thursday night. The storm was moving north at 12 mph with top sustained winds of 85 mph Wednesday evening. Helene could create a life-threatening storm surge as high as 20 feet in parts of the Big Bend region, forecasters said. Its tropical storm force winds extended as far as 345 miles from its center. The fast-moving storm's wind and rain also could penetrate far inland, the hurricane center posted hurricane warnings well into Georgia and tropical storm warnings as far north as North Carolina, and it warned that much of the southeast could experience prolonged power outages, toppled trees and dangerous flooding. Carabelle, Florida resident Kenneth Griswold is taking note of the hurricane's size and power. This one here's got me a little bit more nervous than the others, I mean, for the extent of how wide and vast it is. I mean, it's not a little small storm like the others we've had here recently, he said. Northwest Florida residents could be seen buying emergency supplies at a Lowe's home improvement store in Live Oak. One shopper, Philip Lambert, said it's becoming a familiar routine. It's like a bad dream. Over and over. As soon as you get cleaned up from one storm, six months later you get hit again or eight months later you get hit again. So it's constantly picking up tree limbs, he said. Lowe's manager Alvaro Otero said the repeated storms that have pounded a region can take an emotional toll. They went through this not that long ago, just a couple of months ago, and then last year. Some of these families just rebuild what they lost and now being in here, maybe lose it all over again," he said. This one here's got me a little bit more nervous than the others. I mean, for the extent of how wide and vast it is. I mean, it's not a little small storm like the others we've had here recently. It's like, it's like a bad dream over and over. It's like as soon as you get cleaned up for one storm, six months later you're getting hit again, or eight months later you're getting hit again. So it's constantly picking up tree limbs and just, it's stressful, but you know, as long as the insurance rates don't keep going up, I'll be all right. Huh? You just gotta survive, push through it. Just talking to our regulars, right? People we see here every day, um, you kind of feel for them. It's our community, but having them, you know, they went through this, not that long ago, just a couple months ago, and then last year, um, maybe a little overwhelmed. You know, some of these families just rebuild what they lost and now being in fear of maybe losing it all over again, right? So it, it can be an overwhelming feeling for a lot of them. Tropical storm Helene formed Tuesday in the Caribbean Sea and is expected to strengthen into a hurricane on Wednesday, while moving north toward the U.S., forecasters said. Helene could become a major hurricane before it arrives on Florida's Gulf Coast as soon as late Thursday. The storm is expected to move over deep, warm waters, fueling its intensification. 
The storm is anticipated to be unusually large and fast-moving, meaning storm surge, wind and rain will likely extend far from the storm center, the hurricane center said. Helene, the eighth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season that began June 1, could strengthen into a major Category 3 hurricane with winds of at least 111 mph before approaching the northeastern Gulf Coast. Helene was expected to slip between Cuba and Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula early Wednesday and drench the area with up to a foot of rain, before heading north across the Gulf of Mexico. Forecasters say they expect Tropical Storm Helene in the Caribbean Sea to strengthen rapidly and become a hurricane as it moves north across the Gulf of Mexico on Wednesday toward the U.S. The National Hurricane Center has issued hurricane warnings for northwestern Florida's coastline and part of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Helene is forecast to be near hurricane strength when it passes near the Yucatan Peninsula early Wednesday. Forecasters say the entire west coast of Florida faces a possibly life-threatening storm surge. La primera noticia que tuvimos es de que estaba tranquila, que no iba a llegar por acá, pero pues al parecer se ve muy, muy centrada y pues nos ha afectado un poquito en cuestión del de, pues, turismo, ¿no? las actividades que normalmente son acuáticas, eh, se ha detenido un poco, pero pues esperemos que no pasen mayores, que pasemos una tormenta normal tranquilamente. No podemos esperar del de mar el mar, usted sabe que cuando se pone bravo hay que tener mucha precaución o sea, y mucho cuidado, porque cuando está calmito está calmo, ¿sí? me ha tocado, afuera está calmo, pero cuando realmente el mar se embravece hay que tener mucho cuidado. Y, qué? y mejor, como dicen por allá, buscar refugio, porque cuando eso se intensifica viene con fuerza.